Next question is from M. Perks. Are trigger sessions useful during a cut? Oh, trigger sessions are useful. Just okay. Almost anything. You should lift weights and try to build muscle while you're when you're cutting or when you're bulking. Now, why? Okay, obviously for bulking, you want to try and build muscle because that's part of the goal. But why should you try to build muscle when you're trying to cut? Muscle preservation. Yeah, yes, because cutting typically results in or can result in the body reducing muscle to try to slow its own metabolism down. This is one of the biggest pitfalls to dieting or cutting is you end up with a slower metabolism than you went in with, and now maintaining it is so difficult. So real quick, trigger sessions, just for people who don't know what those are. A trigger session is a very light, low-intensity, short, 10-minute you know, session where you're pumping the muscle um, maybe two or three times a day. On days, you're not doing a normal workout. These are on off days. Now, by themselves, they don't really build a ton of muscle, but when you add them to your normal workouts, it's like a little bit of a, a turbocharger. So, yeah, during a cut, oh, my gosh, sugar sessions are, are extremely important. I actually important. found them more, even more beneficial during this time. So when we when I was getting ready for shows, I was that's the most I ever was doing trigger sessions mm -hmm. when I was competing. Like I was constantly doing that, and I felt that that was one of the game changers for me to holding on to as much. That's one of the hardest things. One of the hardest things to do is to cut, you know, reduce your calories, increase movement, add cardio, mm -hmm. and then also think you're going to hang on to all that muscle that right. you've worked so hard to build. And obviously, uh, when you're at the competitive level, it's very important that you maintain that. Otherwise, why are you putting all this work in to build that muscle in the off season? So uh, I really felt that that contributed. And I had I had shows where I didn't, and I had shows I did, and I felt when I was really consistent with it, um, I held on to the most muscle when I was cutting. And it's really hard to do that. It's really hard to keep your muscle. One of the best things you can do is constantly being sending, sending a signal that your body needs it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what the trigger session is. Without all the extra damage, Right, you're just sending that signal of hey, we need this, we need this to stay around. We're using it a lot, we're using it a lot. That's kind of what you're doing, totally. it's just a low level version. Yeah, of it. it's almost therapeutic too, in its own right. Like, a, in, in terms of like feeling like I've, I'm recovering uh, as well. So, like, I, I tend to, to focus on it a lot more if I'm in a cut, just mainly because it's something that I'm trying to, to maintain. Uh, you know, this momentum and this energy of adding like extra movement and extra uh, calorie expenditure. So that's something I, I'm paying attention to, like my Fitbit, my step count and all that stuff. But I'm also just trying to make sure my muscles are getting that stimulus uh, throughout this whole thing. So I don't, yeah, I don't lose my muscle. Totally. That's another thing that I really loved about it was when I'm in a cut, I'm low calorie for long periods of time and I get tired. Yeah, I wanted. I don't want to do anything. It's an energizer. It is a great energizer. I mean, that mm -hmm. was one of the things that I, I really also enjoyed. Just a sec added benefit that I wasn't thinking about when I started to incorporate them is, you know, I'd be tired from a, a day already, and I'm and I've been I sat down on the couch for a while, and I don't really want to move, and I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to do a trigger session, and you know, sometime in the next hour or two. And I'd, like, I'd just pop up, and that was back when I used to just keep it on my my door, my closet door near my living room, and I'd hop up, just do a little 10, 10 12 minute you know, trigger session. And all of a sudden I'd be re-energized. I'd Completely. be now motivated to move around, go for a walk or do something because I got up and did that. So that was, and that just adds to your cut. You're, you're burning more calories. You're moving more the active recovery portion of it. So I actually find the most benefit during a cut. Oh, than, than any yeah. Instead of doing 30 minutes of stationary cardio or not stationary, but, uh, uh you know, uh, steady state cardio, do three 10 minute trigger sessions throughout the day. Mm -hmm. It's going to actually do a better job at burning body fat and preserving muscle. Trigger sessions are found in MAPS Anabolic, uh, by the way, if people are looking for the program that has that specific technique. And also um, that program and all of our programs uh, are actually 40% off right now. I want to make sure I mention that uh, on the show. 40% off all of them, but you have to use the code Summer program, so you can get any individual program for. Well, for the that, bundles that are also twenty five percent. Bundles are twenty five. Which are already discounted. This it's, this is the biggest sale we've ran all year. That's it, yeah. totally. And that code is Summer Bundle. So if you want to get twenty five percent off the already discounted bundle, use that code. 